Hello there and welcome to the next topic which is walkthrough of Power BI software. This is the second topic in this series and so far as you can see I have 10 different topics listed out and like I mentioned in the first video if you have any topic that you want to share then always share in the comment section and probably I will include that based on when I will going to cover this. But this is a small list it will going to grow as we will going to move towards uh, or advance towards the various topics. So with that, let's have a quick walkthrough of Power BI software to understand its various components. So whenever we open the Power BI software, this is how the screen comes where on the left hand side, you have some of the options to get the data, uh, go to the recent sources, Power BI tutorial. If you have created any files recently, it will show that. Uh, if you want to open the other report, it will show. Middle section is about uh, signing in into the Power BI and then option where it says shows you want to try free. And then on the right hand side, it shows information about what's new, uh, Power BI blog and forums and any new event which is coming in, which we can sign up to attend the event. So that's the screen at the uh, very first splash screen that we say. So we can close this from this close button and then we have this screen which has been divided into many parts at a high level. This is the ribbon. Uh, this is a section where you can switch to the different modes of the Power BI. This is the blank area which based on the mode we have selected it changes and then down here you have the filters visualization and uh, fields section to clearly indicate uh, what has been added on the canvas over here and they, you can basically create and uh, produce your reports and charts. So at the top of the ribbon first what you have is the file which is very common to any file related settings which you must have seen in the any Microsoft application to open, save, close, getting the data, import, export and then some general settings. Then like in Microsoft Excel or in other word related software, you must have seen the home, insert, modeling, view. So insert and home is quite uh, similar. View is similar and help is similar. But based on the requirements of the Power BI, what you also have is the modeling as one of the option over here because it allows you to do the data modeling. So it has home like always it has some important features which you want and may these features may present in the insert modeling and view tab as well so for example in insert if you see the new visual or more visuals are present which is even present over here also as you can see uh, the section is given as insert similarly there is a calculation section there is a data section which is being given over here so apart from that in modeling you have the option where you can create new manage the relationship, you can create new measures, you can create a quick measure, new column, new table, which is also a pretty interesting feature to create any new table manually if you want to create. And then um, you have the option of changing the direction, to, uh, creating a parameter, so on and so forth. So we will explore them as and when the situation will arrive. And then you have the view where you can change the layout or the view of the, of the dashboard as per your needs. So like here, if I select this, it will going to change the layout accordingly. And down there, if you see it has this dark mode, it has this probably grayish or bluish mode that it has. So you can try on with this. And then this mode is, is where, you know, all the blue and related blue colors are present. So we can try with these visualization. The benefit is that when you will create the chart, based on the intensity of the values, it will going to change the um, colors for the bars or for the uh, part of the chart. Then you have a page view, what sort of view you want, like a fit to page, fit to width or actual size. So fit to page is a good where it fits based on the width and the height. Then if you are creating something which is related to the mobile, then you can have this mobile layout as well. So mobile layout, once you will click over here, will give you a mobile sort of a look and feel. And within this screen, you can create the visualization, which will be very similar to how the information will be presented to the 
in end user in their mobile so to come out you will click that again and you will be in a normal layout then you have the option of a grid line where you if you enable you have the grid line so some people likes to have a grid line just so that they are pretty accurate as to where they are placing the measures or the slicer or the filters so we will see that um, and then we can uncheck this and over here if you see the snap to grid option which automatically aligns the objects in your report so you can do that uh, you can lock the objects so that wherever you are positioning it you just want to make sure that it does not change the position um, then you have this filters which if you enable the filters pane will be enabled for you will show you at the data filters over here filters on all pages can be added here and then we have some options for bookmark selection performance analyzer and sync slice all of that we will see as and when the situation will arrive and then we have the help section where you can get to know about your software what software you are using so if i just click over here it will show the information of the version the user id so on and so forth and um, then you have the documentation which will take you to the online library of the power bi here the videos section where you will see the videos related to the power bi support section power bi block so on and so forth like to submit an idea if you want to submit an idea then you can use this or power bi for developers if you want to extend the power bi so you can develop something new in the power bi also down there you have the examples as the partner showcase some samples the community galleries and then finally the consulting services if you are having some consulting services uh, purchased then you can basically um, get those consulting services as well so this is this is the ribbon area then you have these sections which is a report section so right now we are in a report section then we have the data section here the data that will be present which we will be going to import in coming days and then there is finally the model section where based on the multiple tables that is present we will going to model the data then if we come back to the chart section what we get is the filters uh, section which we showed uh, i showed you earlier based on the within the view the filters are present if you want to hide this information you can just click over here and it will be hidden for you so for now i'll just keep it uh, then we have the visualization section where a lot of visualization is present along with the formatting and uh, you know doing the different settings also finally you have the fields option to do to basically list down the fields the various different tables and the related fields which we will be showing you or i'll be showing you in the uh, upcoming visualization upcoming uh, visualization tutorials so that's about uh, how the entire interface of the power bi and this will give you some good idea as to what are the different options is present i know in one video it's very difficult when you are starting but as and when we will move forward we will be using all of these features and uh, then obviously we will get to know more about uh, where each feature is present and how to use it so that's about it and in the next topic i will show you how you can import the csv data inside power bi